Hi, I'm Mitchell Murphy, Chief Executive of Football Federation Victoria. Today we hit the road to talk with Western Eagles veteran player Mark Kamita. Then it's off to Geelong to have a chat with Victoria's oldest registered player, Everett Nelson. Yeah, my, my name is Mark. I'm uh, my name's Everett Nelson. I started playing the soccer about 10 years old. Because and I've been playing since about 10 years old. I'm right now I was, I'm 64 years old. So I'll be 76 years of age in November this year. So I don't know when, when it stopped until the, my body still cope with this, this ex exercise. But I don't know when. It could be in the next five couple of years, six, seven years. And I, I still love it to play this, this game. Yeah. And I just love the game. Uh, it's like a drug, you, know? you get addicted to it and if you're fit enough and can play it, well, why not keep going till you drop? So Mark, good chatting with you. Well, what do you do outside of the normal training sessions to keep yourself fit? Uh, actually, I'm just in taxi industry. I got the taxi business, and to be honest, I'm just uh, got difficult today and exercise uh, every day. But when I got any, any free time, I just do the running or a push bike, and plus the training we got here, and plus the diet the diet and the what you put in the mouth and I start practicing and reading a lot of a lot of books and try and I find out the, the keep me slim and, and fit. I eat a lot of eggs, about six eggs every day for the last five years, but no bread. No bread because bread is not kind of carbohydrate and we become a bit chubby and, and fat from the bread. I know that from my experience. I read the bicycle most days a week. Uh I play tennis, pennant tennis and social tennis and then I have a kick anywhere I can get a kick during the week at various places. Down on the waterfront I hear? Down on the waterfront, yeah there's a group of meet in the waterfront, some from the tax office and a few other places like that and they, they meet there and play the lunch hour and, it's, and a, couple of, a couple of ladies, some of them are quite good too. Yeah. So Everett, given your longevity in the game there must be some fantastic memorable moments but is there a standout highlight for you? I think the standout would be having played with my two sons in, in the same team and in and, and pretty good standard as well. And, and then uh, I scored a, a goal when I was a striker, a three second goal straight from kickoff, which gave us a one all draw in the team. And, uh, and then playing with my grandsons as well now. So it, it's, it's, there's so many. They're probably three of the best ones I could think of. Yeah, my. my for my memory, is because I always play on the on the defense or left hand side because I'm not a good dribbler, but uh, and I enjoy playing on the defense usually on left hand side all the time, and uh, I help uh, many times to to strike it to score the goal and uh, it give me a lot of satisfaction, and that's uh, that's how I reckon that's the playing on the defense uh, is good enough. I can't, I can't score the goal because it's too far away from the of it. <laughs> to, to, to so Everett, obviously over the years you've seen some fantastic footballers, but who's your favourite all-time player? Oh, George Best. Uh, because he's from Ireland, the same as me, from Belfast. Went to school with my brother-in-law. And uh, he was just a fantastic player and he had a fantastic attitude to the game. And he made his own rules in, in the game and in life. And you know, as as was quoted a few times by him, you know, he, uh, he when he made a lot of money, he spent all his money on booze, women, and cars, and squandered the rest. <laughs> oh, for my my football, the best football player for me was because I was a young man. There was there was Pele, the Brazilian, and his, I remember he was always a role model for us. And even now he's uh, probably in his seventies. He still role model for the young people because he didn't do anything wrong after he retired from the, playing the soccer and they stayed for, mem for memory forever. <coughs> so Mark you've been involved in the game for a long time if you could change a rule what would it be? 
Uh, the, the rules, we know they, they changed the rules the last 50 years, bit by bit. I don't know if it's, it's better or, or worse, but I, from my experience, I see the, uh, the goalkeeper should be more protected. And uh, tackling whatever uh, injury for the goalkeeper, because I see they happen quite often. And uh, the player who just uh, did the wrong things should be should be get red cards straight away and end up playing anymore. Not like just red yellow card, whatever. This just this is like goalkeeper shouldn't be touched at all. No, uh, probably diving. You know, if, if you could do something about diving, if they could put someone on show and uh, when they do see the replay, look back on if the player's guilty of it, then he should be out for weeks. And, you know, and, and then that's up to the club whether they still pay him or not. But there's too much of it goes on now, and when you see it later on, especially penalties and things like that, which there should never have been, it's wrong. So that, yeah, that's what I would change. So, Everett, if you had a, a piece of advice for junior players, what words of wisdom would you tell them? Uh, well, as me, I've never been a drinker or smoker, and that has to help because you've got to keep fit. And if you drink or smoke, you've got to work a lot harder to get fit. But if you do know the days and you, you keep fit and keep at it and listen to the coaches and take their advice because they're experienced and can tell you what to do and how to get ahead in the game. Uh, my level of fitness, this is the, they, can, they can get from the, from the coach, right? This is a matter of time. But uh, I find that the most important for the young one is the discipline. And it's very difficult. I see the I got the coaches from our club, and they got struggling with the discipline because they, the kids are their kids ten years old and just not taking any sometimes serious, and they want to play, but and they when there is the match, they're sitting on the bench and they're complaining that they they play they train and they're not playing, but it's actually most of them most of the times they fault because they they have to they can't self discipline self discipline okay self discipline and commitment. Oh, uh, that's good. <laughs> We're done. Yeah. Okay.